Hello, everybody. Welcome into Talking Pittsburgh on this Wednesday, June 1st. Yes, June 1st, 2022. Hope you're having a wonderful day out there this first June. Summer is off and running. Gone. Like, yep, we're already got to get ready for it. No, it is summer. It's rushing. It's happening. And we got a lot of stuff to tell you about uh, on the show today uh, of upcoming events because uh, summer is here. And uh, you can't tell that this guy's just a little bit excited about uh, summertime. And yeah, we it's nice weather this week too to kick things off. Maybe it's to rain tonight. We get past that uh, 70s through the rest of the week. Even into the weekend, it's going to stay in the 70s. Chance rain Saturday night, Sunday. I'm just going to wash that away and hope that that's not going to happen because uh, we want some uh, good, uh, healthy, clean, fun, uh, good days, rest of uh, clean, you know, good weather, and so we can enjoy our summer. And with that, we got a lot of fun uh, stuff to tell you about. It's uh, happening on the show today. First, I'll take you out to uh, an earlier event today. It was the re-raising the pride flag uh, outside of City Hall. We'll take you out to that event uh, and uh, show the details on that. Plus, we'll check in with the Recreation Department, CC. And if you want to talk about Summer Fun, she's got the lineup for you. Uh, and uh, I'll tell you that we uh, taped that one early. And my son, I, when we did this, I had my son. And he was like, just could not, like, he was there right in front of me. So I still feel bad. About that interview, but uh, CC uh, is here, and so is my son. So you'll have that uh, coming up. Uh, we're staying tuned for that. But first, let's get into your headlines. And since we're talking about weather, uh, Heat Awareness Day in Wisconsin is uh, today. And here's a few reminders for you: as summer warms up, there are ways to beat the heat and not the uh, end up in the emergency room. Know the the differences between heat exhaustion and heat stroke, uh, as uh, those. Again, we actually thought our son had uh, heat exhaustion over the weekend. It turned out he had a virus, but uh, the signs uh, uh, for heat exhaustion, including feeling faint or dizzy, excessive sweating, cool, pale, clammy skin, nausea or vomiting, rapid, weak pulse, muscle cramps. Anyways, you want to get the person out of the elements and into a cold, cooler air conditioning place, drink plenty of water, take a cool shower, or use cold compresses. Uh, we use washcloths, like cold washcloths, up with around the neck, uh, under the armpits, and growing that will help uh, get you cool down quicker. Heat stroke, uh, that uh, includes a throbbing headache, no sweat, body temp above 103, red hot, dry skin, nausea, vomiting, rapid, strong pulse, and may lose consciousness. Uh, call 911 immediately, especially if a person is uh, unconscious, and do not try to feed somebody or give anybody something to water if they are unconscious. And, of course, uh, get that person into a, out of the elements into a cool place uh, and get them down as, as quickly as you can. But calling 911, certainly. You can always check in uh, with the doctors, nurses uh, online uh, if you have any questions on that. But definitely got to take it serious. We kind of got really hot really quickly. And it's uh, kind of been the way things have been going. What a chance to talk about uh, some heat sickness there and we'll continue to share though especially when hot days are coming we'll uh, give you those safety tips as a reminder uh, during that time and one way to beat the heat in the city of fitchburg is using the splash pad it is now open and ready to uh have uh water fun splash pad at mckee farms park is open for the season it is open daily 10 a.m to 8 p.m through august 31st make plans to visit the splash pad today located at 2930 chapel valley road in Pittsburgh. It's a good place uh, to visit. All right, event to tell you about uh, coming up this week. Uh, we have the invasive plant species in your backyard event. <laughs> Sounds really funny, but uh, it's definitely a good seminar to talk about. It's happening on June second at five thirty p.m. at McGaw Park. Learn, how, <clears throat> excuse me, learn how to identify, manage invasive species in your backyard. This will uh, feature invasive species expert uh, Matt Walworth of the Upper Sugar River. Watershed Association and Anna Healy, our urban forest, uh, forester and naturalist. The city of Fitchburg will be there uh, teaming up to talk about this. Share your questions and come uh, uh, for an opportunity to win some great giveaways and enjoy some pizza provided by Ian. So it'll be a good night for that. We'll have coverage of that and uh, bring you some of that back here on Talking Fitchburg later this week. We got Summer Art Showcase. It returns. Get this on your 
calendar. We're going to be out there for this. Uh, returns on Tuesday, June 7th. It starts at 3.30 p.m., goes till 6.30 p.m. for Mega Summer Art Showcase. Uh, is uh, a fun uh, event. Uh, it's returning to Mad Art Scene after a uh, long absence due to COVID-19 pandemic. Pro Mega Art Show have uh, paused since March of 2020. But the day will end on June 7th with the opening of our newest exhibit, a vibrant welcome back. Ever welcome back uh, uh, again uh, on your calendar Tuesday, June seventh, three thirty p.m. Followed by the opening reception from four thirty to six thirty p.m. The artists speak uh, at a symposium starting at three p.m. And this is at the Biopharmaceutical Technology Center. We got BBC. Come on out, five four four five East Cheryl Parkway. Both events are free and open to public. Attendees will be required to show proof of vaccinated status. Proof of vaccination status is also required to view the exhibit june 7th through september 10th visit the promega COVID 19 protocols for more information friends of the fitchburg public library at U's book sale also is reaching we're so excited for this uh, the book sale will be happening at 5530 Lacey road that's the fitchburg public library june 16th through june 18th discover discover a wide variety of fiction and fiction mystery children's history travel health gardening and so much more with prices so low you can't even believe it wish i had a better <laughs> better that but you get it free sale event uh only friend the fitchburg public library will be held 4 to 6 p.m on june 16th interesting i have heard of that before maybe you want to uh join the friends huh just saying huh huh Complimentary wine and cheese for those attendees. The sales will be open on uh, for the public and 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. on the 16th. So come on out. It'll be a lot of fun. Festival of Speed is back this summer at Fitchburg. It's the hottest mile. Get the schedule up. I'll read the schedule and then I'll do the uh, the hottest. It's the hottest mile track in the state of Wisconsin. Festival of Speed is awesome. If you have not been out to it, it is Something to see. 7.30 a.m. You have the 25-mile bike ride event uh, that you can take. Uh, send the Donor Dash 5K happening uh, in the evening time. Uh, that's from the top winners of uh, the run in the early morning, so you can uh, take advantage of that. You got the bike circuit uh, circuits, uh, that are happening, uh, and that's that one-mile loop uh, around. Uh, the Promega BTC or Promega uh, campus, the Agora area there. Uh, you have the quick trip, uh, 1000 mile, uh, which is so much fun to see. And that one with the top winners, I should have said that right. It has the uh, uh, winners from the uh, run uh, competing in that 1000 mile, which is so cool to see. I can't imagine doing a big run in the morning, coming back and have to run again. No way. And then 915, we got fire. To close out the night, beer, food, fun for the whole family, and uh, free to attend. So come on out. It's right down the street from plenty of parking and events all day that you can participate in and watch, which is so cool. And it's a fun event for sure. Okay, turning our attention uh, to COVID 19, everyone age five and older is eligible to get the COVID 19 booster dose. That's right. The Omicron and subvariant underscores the importance of vaccination boosters and preventative efforts to protect us against COVID-19. CDC recommendation on the booster dose are based on the latest data, which show that booster doses significantly increase protection from the Omicron variant. The goal of ensuring that we have optimal protection against COVID-19 infection, severe illness, and death. You can find your dose at publichealthmdc.com backslash VAX for more information. And finally, Beach monitoring, you know, when you're talking about beating the heat, <clears throat> if you want to check some of the beaches in Dane County, uh, they are being monitored. All city beaches uh, are, are starting on uh, June 1st, all county beaches on June 1st, Monona Beach, June 1st, and April Bluff Beach will start on June 6th, and for Fireman's Beach is June 13th for the monitoring schedule. Uh, beaches are, are great way to enjoy during the summer and uh, if you want to learn more about the monitoring activities public health of madison dane county has that information for you so go before you go <clears throat> and i'm running out of uh, air and apparently my voice is going so we're going to take a quick break coming up next we'll open up our digest we'll be taking you out to the re-raising of the pride flag in front of city hall and later we check in with the rec department on this wednesday edition june 1st tf
it takes all of us to slow the spread of the coronavirus. So follow guidance from authorities where you live and stay home unless absolutely necessary. Use a delivery service for essential items like food and medicine. If you must make essential trips, stay six feet apart from other people. Wear a cloth face covering and wash your hands for at least 20 seconds as often as possible. Visit coronavirus.gov for the latest information. Severe weather can strike anytime, anywhere, but there's a simple way to stay safe. Hey, Jim Cantori here. I stay safe in dangerous weather by planning ahead. You can stay safe too with a few easy steps. Build an inexpensive kit with supplies for your family's needs. Write down important information like phone numbers and medications. Always talk with your family and remember any pets in your planning. Be ready, be safe. Start your plan today at ready.gov slash plan. Hey boss, you okay? I said I'm fine. Hey, son. Hey, Bob. You know you can talk to me. Yeah. We're all just trying to keep things running for those who rely on us. Ready! That's why we don't have time to be sick with the flu. And especially this year, no one has time to get sick. Get a flu shot for yourself and those around you, too. Welcome back to Talking Fitchburg Digest. And today we're going to take you out to uh, an earlier day event. It was the re-raising of the Pride Flay. Mariner and Richardson was out there uh, with uh, plenty of guests uh, to re-raise the Pride Flay. Take a look. Hello, everyone. Thank you for being here as we celebrate Pride Month. This is something that when I was first elected mayor, we hadn't recognized Pride Month, and so I said that we need to recognize this and do a proclamation. And then a year later, two years ago, I went to staff and said, you know, I really feel like we need to start having the Pride flag up during Pride Month. And after the month was over, I was talking with Sarah a little bit and talked about, you know, we really are not inclusive just during the month of June. It really seems to me that we should have the flag up year round. And so for the last two years, we have done that. And so I think it's something that hopefully people see and recognize how important diversity is to us as a community and us as a city. So uh, this is something where every year we ceremonial raise the flag again. However, it is something I think is important year round. And I would like to have Randy Udell, our council president, say a few words as well. All right. Very good. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor Richardson, uh, for allowing me uh, the time to speak. Uh, last year, I spoke about the rights for the LGBTQ plus community, which was significantly changed for the better. Yet we still have a fight to have to fight to achieve full equality. This year, I thought I would address two important questions. Uh, the first question, what does pride mean? Wikipedia defined it. Celebrating pride means promoting self affirmation, dignity, equal rights. It's a time for people from all walks of life to stop and reflect on what it means to be truly accepting and accepted. To put it in more direct life experience, it means you have the right to visit and care for a dying partner, the right to marry the person you love, and the right not to fear the loss of employment because of who you are and who you love, all of which were unthinkable in the not so distant past. Uh, the second question, what is the importance, of pride? the importance of pride? Again, Wikipedia states that celebrating diversity, letting friends and family know that every family know that they are seen and helping everyone feel accepted. I celebrate pride because it's important to keep LGBT plus issues in the news. Pride is an outlet that lets us celebrate ourselves, our journey towards equality, and showcase threats to our rights as Americans. Again, in simpler terms, the raising of the pride flag over City Hall tells all who view the flag flying above the municipal building that Fitchburg supports the LGBTQ plus community and equality. I want to express my sincere gratitude, gratitude toward, to Mayor Richardson 
my fellow colleagues, city staff, and the residents of Fitchburg for the recognition of June and the entire year as Pride. Thank you for this opportunity to speak today as Alder for District 4, Council President, and as a citizen of the great city of Fitchburg, which I love. Thank you. And thank you. I think you know, hinted at something that we really have not been accepting and inclusive to communities like the LGBT community for very long. And hopefully we continue to advance very quickly and get to a point where we are even more accepting than we are right now because we do still have some work to do. And so at this point, Randy's gonna help me raise the flag again. And thank you all for being here. get this uh, posted up to our Facebook and YouTube channel. You can check that out and appreciate everybody who came out for the event. We'll take a quick break. Coming up next, we open up our guest segment. We'll check in with CC at the Recreation Department and get your kiddos and you adults sign up for great activities here on TF. You could be spreading the coronavirus without realizing you have it. So follow guidance from authorities where you live and do your part. It's important to limit in-person interaction with anyone outside of your immediate household, but phone and video chat are safe ways to connect. It's also important to limit any social gathering. This advice applies to people of any age, including teens and younger adults. Visit coronavirus.gov for the latest information. you joined our family, it was like, I really do feel complete now. Our hearts are made stronger by how we treat others. Put her there. The light you share can impact those around you, but so can the darkness. Later, twerps. Did Pete saying mean things bother you? So when you reach out to another person, <laughs> take a moment to consider how they will feel and let your heart be the key to making a difference. Because of you, someone's entire day, year, or even life can change. In every heart, there's hope. Brandon met a girl on a dating app. He finally found the courage to ask her out. No answer. He started to panic. Was he being... Hey, sorry I didn't respond. I was driving. She must be a keeper. We're all just trying to keep things running for those who rely on us. That's why we don't have time to be sick with the flu. We don't have time for delays. Ready! We don't have time for spills. Next. We don't have time for setbacks. Let's be real. Getting the flu shot? Helps you fight the flu. Get a flu shot for yourself and those around you too. Welcome back into Talking Fitchburg. Joining today for the Fitchburg Recreation Department is CC. Apparently, Fitchburg Recreation is hard to say. I didn't know that. Uh, how are you doing, CC? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm struggling, but that's okay. Uh, I'm glad to have you on the show and uh, talk about all the fun events. Summer is here now, and we are off and running. And uh, you guys, you're the first department that I know of that is always, you know, two or three months ahead of summer already, you know, it's all planned out. It's all ready to go. And now it's just filling in uh, what's available uh, for folks to uh, jump in and get involved in all of our recreation stuff. But there's, there's other events that are still coming up at the same time. So we're going to start with a community brewers game uh, that uh, you have on Thursday, August 18th. Tell us about this. That's right. We are going to be taking a community bus trip to um, American Family Field. I almost said the old name. <laughs> Hard to get over that one. Right. Um, we're going to be going to a matchup between the Brewers and the Los Angeles Dodgers. It's going to be a 1.10 p.m. game on Thursday, August 18th. Um, there is an option. The main option, you know, is the bus transport ticket plus bus. 
round trip to the game and back. Um, but we do also have a couple of tickets that you can buy just as tickets. Um, you don't have to take the bus, but those are limited quantity. Um, so, you know, if you want that, grab them today. <laughs> All right, perfect. Uh, get it uh, while they last, as they say. Uh, is sticking with sports, you got the esports summer uh, season going on. Uh, tell us about some of the esports. Yeah, so we've got esports for ages eight all the way through adults. So we've got a youth division, a school age, teen division, and then an adult division. Um, lots of fun games to be playing Madden 21, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Fortnite, that's only for the teens and adults though. Um, Rocket League and Super Smash Bros. So summer season passes are only 10 bucks to play in unlimited leagues. So you sign up for the season pass, you can play in as many of those leagues as you can fit into your schedule or want to play in. Have at it. <laughs> It'll be fun. All right. Uh, turning our attention to youth sports, uh, the soccer uh, partnership with Sonic Sports Club. Uh, this sounds like a lot of fun. That's right. So yeah, we work with Sonic Sports Club. It's a great club in Fitchburg um, and they help us run this instructional soccer program. Um, it's not like uh, getting divided up into teams and playing in like a league. It's more so of a program where you're going to send your kid, they're going to do skills and drills for the first half, and then we'll do some scrimmages for the second half. Um, so great way to introduce new players into the sport and um, also help more experienced players work on their skills and improve on their abilities so that they can, you know, maybe take it into the club season. Maybe you want to play for Sonic Sport Club. All right. Turning our attention to tennis. You've got uh, all levels of experience are welcome uh, to play uh, tennis. Tennis is so much fun. I love that. Tennis is great. And it's a fun sport for kids to just get out there and be having fun on the court in the summertime. Um, great for players of all abilities. Again, you know, you can get kids that are brand new to the sport and all the way up through kids that, you know, might even be playing on their middle school um, or even their high school team who just want to get some practice in or have fun with their friends doing something that they love. Yeah, absolutely. Now tell me this next one is a uh, Madison uh, ultimate Frisbee. Like, or, well, this just sounds pretty cool. <laughs> Yeah, so this is a camp that we put on in partnership with the Madison Radicals, the professional ultimate Frisbee team in Madison. So one of their players comes down, runs the camp for us, um, you know, gets the kids introduced to Frisbee, working on their Frisbee skills, teamwork. Um, Frisbee is just a great sport. It like builds on teamwork. It's a co-ed sport a lot of the time. Um, and it's just all participants get a Frisbee and it's just so much fun. I actually still play ultimate Frisbee, so I'm a big proponent of it. Yeah, it's a fast moving sport. And I just maybe you can show me how to throw like long distance uh, Frisbee throw like that. That's something that I just can't get down. I don't know why, but uh, I'll, have to, I'll have to come out to uh, this camp for sure. Uh, fencing camp. Fe <laughs> this one still just boggles my mind. Fencing uh, as a rec program, I think is so cool. And that's why we do it. You know, it's something new and exciting, um, something that kids wouldn't really get to try outside of this kind of environment. So um, we've got new and returning students invited. You know, we've got experienced coaches that are going to be teaching the kids how to, you know, use the sword and score their points. Um, you know, armbands, we've got the protective gear, we've got the safety swords, we got it all. So come on down and have some fun pretending that you're Jack Sparrow out there. <laughs> Jack Sparrow. All right. I'll come dress for that one uh, for sure. Uh, uh, turning our attention now to uh, some dance uh, classes uh, under the youth enrichment. Uh, you still got some openings there. We do. Yep. We've got pre-ballet one and two. We've got ballet one and jazz one offered this summer for dance classes. So if you're interested in any of those or just want to try it out, come on down. All right, that'll be a lot of fun. We also have uh, the programs in partner with CI Pediatric Therapy uh, happening out at the James uh, or Hugo Jamestown Park, uh, which is a beautiful shelter if you haven't been there. So a great uh, place to be holding some uh, fun events. Uh, tell us about this partnership. Yeah, so we're going to be doing a couple of sessions of classes, like you said, with CI Pediatric Therapy Center. So the uh, class leader is going to be someone who's trained to work with kids of all abilities, so suitable for everyone. Um, we've got a couple of classes. Some I want to highlight are Nature Explorers. So this one is going to be uh, focused on getting in tune with nature, learning about nature, doing fun crafts and projects. 
Um, another one that they're going to be doing is Magnificent Magicians. So this one is for the kids that are a little bit older, ages 6 to 11. You're going to be learning some magic tricks and doing some fun uh, magic themed crafts projects. Um, and then maybe you can even go home and show your parents a little magic show with all the tricks that you learn. Yeah, that would be a lot of fun. And if I could make my uh, son disappear right now as a magic trick, that'd be great. <laughs> but I can't yeah, do that. Uh, working from home. Right? There, that is the habit for, you know, he's, he's busy today. Um, yeah. uh, how about uh, yeah, how about the uh, partner uh, program partners uh, ships as well? You have a couple uh, different uh, camps uh, uh, partnering with. Uh, so first one's Varsity Lego Builders Camp. That's right. So we work with Youth Enrichment League is the is the name of the group um, to put on these great youth enrichment programs. So Varsity Lego Builders Camp. So this is like an engineering camp. You're going to be learning about levers, pulleys, gears, wheels, axles. You know, it's kind of like a Rube Goldberg situation, but you're going to be doing it all with Legos to build fun contraptions. Yeah, I'm in. I, I'm a Lego guy uh, through and through. So I think it's a really cool thing to do with all ages. And uh, yeah, why not do it as a camp as well? So uh, get yourself signed up. Uh, and if people want to learn more about what's going on, uh, get signed up. Uh, where can they do that at CC? Yes, so they can go to our website, fitchburgwi.gov backslash recreation. I love how you say G-O-V every time. It's so awesome. I'm going to steal that from you eventually and say that because uh, I say gov all the time. So I'm going to need to do that. Uh, either way, CC, thank you so much for your help. Appreciate you. Uh, sorry about my son, but appreciate your help. And we'll talk to you uh, real soon. All right. That sounds good. Thanks, Jeremy. You bet. Uh, again, check the recreation uh, site, get yourself uh, and your kiddos signed up for some fun activities this summer. And uh, CC has told me in the past, get on the waiting list if you can, because you never know when you can get in uh, for a spot. We'll take a quick break. More to come. You're watching Talking Pittsburgh. You'll see on page four that the projections need to be blood next Thursday. Seriously? Thursday? Can't do that. Uh uh. This is really inconvenient. I have yoga that day. I have no time for this. So I can't do Thursday, but I can do Friday. Disasters don't plan ahead. You can. Talk to your loved ones about how you're going to be ready in an emergency. Don't wait. Communicate. Type 2 diabetes can have a big impact on your life, but how can it be prevented? Well, the first step is knowing if you have prediabetes, a serious medical condition that puts you at high risk for type 2 diabetes. One in three American adults has prediabetes, but more than 80% don't know they have it. The good news is, prediabetes can be reversed. And for many people, healthy changes in their daily routine can make a big difference. Take the one-minute risk test today at doihaveprediabetes.org. Severe weather can strike anytime, anywhere but there's a simple way to stay safe. Hey, Jim Cantori here. I stay safe in dangerous weather by planning ahead. You can stay safe too with a few easy steps. Build an inexpensive kit with supplies for your family's needs. Write down important information like phone numbers and medications. Always talk with your family and remember any pets in your planning. Be ready, be safe. Start your plan today at ready.gov plan. If you love them enough to suck the snot out of their nose at 4 a.m., then surely you'll check NHTSA.gov slash the right seat to make sure they're in the right car seat. Welcome back into Talking Pittsburgh, wrapping up the show. I want to thank everybody who came out to the reunion of the Pride Flag outside of City Hall in honor of LGBTQ plus uh, community. And uh, again, everybody who for that plus checking in with uh, CC. We appreciate her time. And again, I best for my son. He just couldn't keep his mouth shut during that interview. <laughs> That's good for you. Uh, remember, uh, you can stay connected with me and have a great evening, everyone.